Highlighting text in the browser will activate a pop-up that prompts students to categorize the highlight and annotate it. Categorization promotes active reading as it encourages students to take an additional thinking step to connect what they are saving with their goal. Annotation has been shown in studies to increase comprehension and retention in the screen reading environment. Categorization also initiates a process we call progressive organization, which continues throughout the PowerNotes workflow and is designed to put students in the best position to start writing. Progressive organization starts with a generic but flexible organizational framework. Students can easily add to their organizational structure over time as they learn more about their research subject. Students can increase the complexity of their organizational framework by using the Add Topic button, which lets them quickly add a new topic to their project. The sidebar is where students can see their highlights and notes, all organized by topic. All highlighted content is in quotation marks, so students know it isn't theirs. Students can change topic names, edit their notes, and get back to their sources by clicking on the links that are saved automatically when a highlight is made. Students can also add notes to a topic without making a highlight. Just click on the plus icon to the right of the topic name. This creates a blank note card that can be used for any number of things, including questions, writing ideas, and reminders. PowerNotes prevents unintentional plagiarism by automatically saving URL and citation information when text is highlighted. The unintentional plagiarism PowerNotes addresses is usually caused by a lack of diligence during the research process. With PowerNotes, students can no longer lose track of their sources or separate citation information from source content. Students can access and review citation information from the sidebar. Clicking on the quotation icon after the highlight in the sidebar or in the notes box will display the citation information that has been automatically pulled from a website's metadata when that highlight was created. Students need this information to create proper citations. PowerNotes also prompts students to check this information as website metadata is sometimes incomplete or inaccurate. Students can edit citation information, and any changes are reflected in future and past highlights from the source. PowerNotes will also give students a visual indicator that citation information has been reviewed by turning the quotation icon from gray to green. PowerNotes works on both online and locally saved PDFs, as long as they are opened in the browser and not in Adobe or another PDF viewer. PowerNotes also allows students to highlight on scanned PDFs. If a PDF does not have a text layer, PowerNotes can add one through an OCR process run on our servers. In many cases, PowerNotes will automatically detect if there are issues with a PDF and alert students to have it processed. Students will be prompted to save processed PDFs to their computer, where they will be able to highlight on it as they normally would with PowerNotes. This feature increases the accessibility of your school's academic and subscription resources by allowing originally scanned content to be read by assistive technology. Citations work a little differently on PDFs and on your library's other academic databases, like JSTOR and EBSCO. On these sites, there is no metadata but databases typically provide several citation formats. Clicking on the citation icon opens a field for students to copy and paste the appropriate citation, and PowerNotes will link it to that highlight and source. As part of progressive organization, students are building an outline as they conduct research. All of their work can be reviewed in the sidebar. Students can also reorganize all of their research in the project outline, which students can access by clicking on the project outline link in the sidebar. The project outline contains all of the material captured during the research process. The project outline is in our web app, and all information is stored on the cloud, so it can be accessed from any device, anywhere. Here, students can edit their project name and description, change topic names, edit notes, and click on the links to go back to the source. More importantly, they can assess and reorganize their saved content. We designed the project outline's user interface specifically for reorganization, as word processing documents are not designed to facilitate this. Each piece of research is presented on a digital note card, modeled after the physical note cards used to reorganize research when sources were in print. Students can drag and drop note cards around, or use the menu attached to each card to move things a longer distance. They can also delete note cards. Students can click on the Manage Topics link to reorder entire sections of their outline. Here, they can add and delete topics, edit topic names, and change topic colors. When students have done enough research, they can use a process called Outline Transformations to add another outline using their paper's headings and subheadings below their research outline. Students can then move each piece of research from their initial outline into this new organizational structure. This technique puts students in a better position to start their first draft, which our surveys have shown to be the most difficult part of the research and writing process. See our blog for more information on Outline Transformations. There are several ways to download content from the project outline. When students are ready to write, they can download to a word processing document that can be opened with Microsoft Word or Google Docs. They can also download content to Excel files that can help them visualize and synthesize their research. Additionally, students can download all sources into an RIS file that can be imported into most citation generation tools.